Hey, I'm Adam Jusko from ProudMoney.com. There are new bonuses on the American Express Blue Cash Preferred and Blue Cash Everyday card that could give you more money than the previous bonuses, but I'm not quite sure that they're actually better bonuses, and that's what we're going to talk about. But first, I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not already, and if you have already, I thank you for doing so. So American Express has changed up the bonuses on the two Blue Cash cards, and you can earn more from these new bonuses than you could from the last bonuses, at least what was showing on the public website. But I'm not sure if that's better because it sort of feels like from American Express's viewpoint, I think this might be true of other uh, card issuers as well, they're willing to give you a little bit more on the bonus if they can sort of make you commit more on your end, meaning spending more over a longer period of time. So let's look at what they are offering and we'll contrast that with what they were offering before. So let's start with the no annual fee blue cash every day card. As I make this video, the new bonus on that card, you earn $150 if you spend at least $2,000 with the card in the first six months of having that card. In addition, you could earn up to another $150 by getting 20% back on your Amazon.com purchases and that maxes out at $150. And so what that means is you could spend up to $750 at Amazon and if you got that 20% on all of it, that's how you would max out the $150 that you would get back. So you get $150 on those $2,000 worth of purchases, you get the $150 on the $750 of Amazon purchases and that would give you $300 hundred dollars total. Now that 750 on Amazon purchases, as far as I can understand it, can be part of that $2,000 that you spent overall in the first six months. So it's not like you have to spend $2,000 to get the first 150 and an extra 750 at Amazon in order to get the other 150, but still you have to spend $2,000 over six months and $750 of that has to be at Amazon in order to get the full $300 that you could get from this offer. And one more thing, that money that you spend at Amazon cannot be on gift cards, not Amazon.com gift cards and not gift cards from other retailers. So you actually have to spend on merchandise or services from Amazon.com. Now with the previous offer on this car, you could get a $250 bonus if you spent $1,000 in the first three months of having the card. So within that first three month period, you could make your whole spend and you could get that bonus. With the new offer, $50 more, but you have to spend more over a longer period of time, $2,000 over six months, and you have to spend at least $750 with Amazon if you wanted to max out that other $150 and get the full $300 bonus. So obviously the new offer requires more of you. You would have to essentially do sort of what it took to get the old bonus twice. You'd have to spend $1,000 in three months and then another $1,000 in the next three months in order to reach that $2,000 over a six month period. And then of course you have the $750 at Amazon. So there's more commitment there over a longer period of time, which I think American Express would like you to do. Blue Cash preferred a similar story with the new bonus. You would earn $200 if you spend $3,000 with the card in the first six months of having it. And you would get 20% back on your Amazon purchases up to $200 in rewards. So you would get that 20% back on up to $1,000 in spend at Amazon. So you have six months to spend $3,000 with the card with at least $1,000 of that being Amazon purchases, or you could go beyond $3,000 and have $1,000 of that being Amazon purchases in order to get in total a $400 bonus. Now the previous offer on this card was that you could earn a $350 bonus if you spent $3,000 in the first six months of having the card. So with the new offer, you could earn $50 more with that same $3,000 spend, except you'd have to have $1,000 spend at Amazon, either as part of that $3,000 or maybe go beyond that $3,000 in order to hit that $1,000 Amazon cap and get that full $400, $400 bonus. So I can't decide if these bonuses are better than the previous bonuses or worse. Yes, you could get more money, but with the blue cash every day, you have to spend over a longer period of time. Obviously you have to make sort of a big commitment to buying at Amazon in order to really match 
max out these rewards if you're someone like me that has the Amazon Rewards Visa and you're a Prime member. Well then, those Amazon purchases, normally you would be getting 5% back on if you switch those purchases over to one of these blue cash cards in order to max out the bonus here. Well then, you are foregoing the 5% that you would get from the Amazon Rewards Visa. So that kind of eats into a little bit the bonus that you're getting because you're no longer getting those rewards on the other side. So to me, the previous rewards, the previous bonuses are a little cleaner, easier to understand. You don't have to commit to Amazon. You don't have to commit for as long, at least on the Blue Cash Everyday card. But I think this is a little bit indicative of what probably American Express and a lot of the other major card issuers would like to do. And that is to string you along for a longer time, even if it means giving you a little bit more of a bonus, making you spend a little bit more over a longer period of time so you are a little more entrenched with their card. You can only go so far as an issuer in terms of just offering more and more bonuses if you are going to do it within that sort of three month time frame that so many of the credit cards use. So what you have to do then is you have to stretch it out. We'll give you a little bit more, but you're gonna have to spend a little bit more. You're gonna have to make a little bit more of a commitment to us in order to get that bigger bonus. And we are seeing that in some other places as well. There have been multiple cards recently that have been offering either higher bonuses over you know a spend for six months or doing something where you can get one bonus at three months, but then if you can continue that spending for another three months and hit the next tier at six months, well then you're going to get even more, whether that's cash back or whether it's some sort of travel points. And my guess is that to a certain extent, this actually works because even for me, someone that pays attention to their cards and pays attention to the bonuses, when I get a new card, if I only have to spend X amount in the first three months and it's not really all that high to get that bonus, well, then I might get that card and spend that money as soon as possible in order to get the bonus and then I don't have to think about it anymore. And if I don't like these sort of everyday rewards on that card, well, then I might not even use it again. I might have just gotten it for that bonus and it was easy for me to do the spend. But if I have to do a bigger spend, over six months in order to get that bonus, well then I'm a little more entrenched with the card and I'm a little less paying attention probably to the exact spending I'm doing because I know I'm gonna to have to make multiple sort of larger purchases over a longer time in order to hit that bonus. So maybe if it's, you know, you have to spend $3,000 over six months, well then maybe I spend $4,000 before I ever really realize that I've already made it over that threshold in order to, you know, fully realize the bonus. So for some people, if you don't pay as much attention to your cards, well then obviously there is that chance that you are going to spend even more in order to hit that bonus. And for one person doing that from American Express's viewpoint or any other card issuer, that's maybe not a big deal, maybe not a whole lot more money, but spread that out over hundreds of thousands or millions of card holders. If you can get them to spend a little bit more when they become new card holders, well then obviously that can be much more profitable than the people that get the card, get the bonus and then get out. So I don't really love that trend and I don't really love these new bonus offers from American Express even though they do give a slightly higher bonus if you can max them out. I would love to hear your thoughts on the subject in that comment section below. Otherwise, I thank you for watching and as always, please go to proudmoney.com where we do credit card reviews and we talk personal finance and we talk deals and all sorts of other fun stuff too. Thank you for watching. Bye.